In the inky void, adrift in an ocean of cosmic microwave background radiation, hung Ethel. Not a planet, but a marvel of ingenuity, a self-contained world, a moon-sized vessel carrying the last embers of a civilization. The universe, once a vibrant tapestry of galaxies, had succumbed to the inevitable, the heat death. Stars had winked out, black holes had evaporated, leaving behind a featureless emptiness. Yet, within Ethel, life pulsed with an almost defiant resilience. The Athelians, beings of pure energy cloaked in shimmering exoskeletons, had foreseen the universe's demise eons ago. They poured their collective knowledge into constructing Ethel, a marvel of technology powered by harvested stellar energy, a miniature biosphere humming with artificial suns and swirling hydroponic gardens. Generations had passed within its metallic womb, each one meticulously documenting the universe's descent into darkness. Elara, a young Athelian with an insatiable curiosity about the past, spent her days in the archive, a vast repository of the universe's memories. Here, holographic recordings flickered to life, showing galaxies ablaze with newborn stars, nebulae swirling in vibrant hues. Elara felt a pang of longing, a yearning for a world she had never known. One day, while delving into ancient data, Elara stumbled upon a project, Project Genesis. It detailed a plan to use the remaining stellar energy to create a miniature universe, a self-sustaining bubble within Ethel that could potentially reignite life. The project was deemed too risky, shelved for fear of jeopardizing Ethel's delicate balance. Fueled by a spark of rebellion and a yearning for a future beyond their metal confines, Elara, along with a band of like-minded Athelians, decided to revive Project Genesis. They faced fierce opposition from the Elders, the custodians of Ethel's stability. But Elara argued that clinging to a stagnant existence was not tea living they deserved a chance to create, to hope. The construction of the Genesis Chamber was fraught with challenges. But with each hurdle overcome, a newfound determination bloomed within the renegades. Finally, the day arrived. Athelian scientists, young and old, gathered around the chamber, a nervous energy crackling in the air. Elara, designated the project leader, stepped forward. With a deep breath, she initiated the sequence. A blinding light engulfed the chamber, followed by an unsettling stillness. Had they failed? Then, a flicker, a spark. Within the chamber, a miniature universe winked into existence, a swirling vortex of energy brimming with the potential for life. Elara and her team watched, tears shimmering beneath their exoskeletons, as the fledgling universe began its dance. It was a fragile thing, a testament to their defiance, a beacon of hope in the endless dark. Ethel, the vessel of a dying universe, now cradled the possibility of a new dawn. The story of life, it seemed, wasn't over yet, merely taking a new, extraordinary form. 